probably one of the best places to have fish in Malta. The main tourist attraction here is a large fish market that takes place every Sunday. Every Sunday this place from 6 a.m. o'clock becomes so crowded with local people trying to secure for themselves the freshest fish. The seafront is also lined with an array of restaurants selling fresh seafood. I've read a lot of comments online about people disappointed that this market doesn't actually have fish but if you don't come here early like 6 to 7 a.m. You, you won't find any fish because um, restaurants owner come here very early in the morning to grab the, the, the fish. So. It is really a beautiful location, it's very inspiring. You've got the bay with the, all these colorful boats and then the open market lining the seafront and then behind the market you've got restaurants, like seafood restaurants. It kind of makes it very logical that I should be stopping here for lunch. Restaurants are not open yet, but um, there are already a few little bakeries which are selling traditional pastizzi and other kind of like savory pastries. The smell that's coming from these places is insane. It's kind of making me hungry. Couldn't resist grabbing some fresh shrimps from the market. It seems like they are already seasoned. Yeah, I think the seasoning is oregano and garlic. Let's give it a try. There's so much garlic and um, oregano. There's probably something else I can't recognize, but. Mm. Okay, it's almost lunchtime, and I'm stopping here for, for a mojito. Um, there is a pasta place that I want to see. It's called Pasta House, and they make fresh, handmade pasta. So I'll finish my mojito and then go and check them out. Yeah. There are a few classic starters and some pasta dishes, obviously. Wait a second. A fish carbonara. Okay, that's interesting. It sounds like a carbonara, but you've got fish instead of the bacon, and that's quite wild. Because some people would argue that you can't really have fish with such a strong cheese like pecorino, but apparently you can. Okay, so they're just asking me what fresh pasta do I want. E poi. Prima, dopo, insomma, quando ti capita, queste caprese di mare sono... Caprese di mare? Sì, facciamo caprese di mare. Bufala fresca? Sì, sì, facciamo caprese di mare. Salmone fresca. Ok, so I was kind of torn about the type of pasta that I wanted with my carbonara and he actually suggested me a black octopus ink kind of pasta. So... It's a, like a black linguine or something and it's made with the ink of the octopus. And I will have um, a starter first, like just some salmon uh, with some salad. There is a mozzarella on the top 
and then bed a layer of salmon um, and then the, the base layer is basically tomatoes and salad and uh, oregano and stuff and it looks beautiful Everything tastes so fresh. Some salmon, some mozzarella, and some tomato. Look at this big piece of salmon. It's smoked salmon. It goes very well with the mozzarella. You can literally see the milk pouring out as you, as you squeeze it. It's probably 40 degrees today. It's very hot. I got it. My black ink pasta with um, carbonara sauce and <clears throat> seafood as a right. Let's give this a try. This is surprisingly good. Mm. We've got the burst of the pecorino. It's not too strong, but the pecorino with the seafood flavor actually goes incredibly well. I'm really surprised. Because this basically disrupts a dogma in the the carbonara legend, right? So having cheese with pasta and seafood. Mm -hmm. The pasta is um, handmade. It has got this kind of uh, chewiness that, not in a bad way, um, the good chewiness. I don't think I've ever had this kind of shell piece before. Mm. Octopus ink pasta in a carbonara sauce. Mm. You need to be pretty bold and have courage if you want to try implement a seafood carbonara and this guy, they made it. It was fabulous.